Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another perfume video for you. It is on the new Hermes Un Chardon Sur la Lagoon. The Hermes Un Chardon range is kind of like the um, um, Guerlain Aqua Allegoria range where they do a new scent every year or every couple of years. I think it's pretty yearly, but maybe could be like every couple of years. Um, I have a few scents in this range. I have um, Un Jardin something new, Un Jardin something something Mediterranean, and now Un Jardin sur la Lagoon. I am so sorry, first of all. We all know that I can't pronounce French to save my life. I have a terrible accent. Plus, I don't know how to pronounce the words in general. So, forgive me. So, this is the box. This purchase was from Sephora. This is the 30 mil or one fluid ounce version. Um, and so, I'm going to read to you, first of all, the information from the Sephora website. Um, the reason... can't get the website up. Hold on. The reason I decided to film this video for you, um, it's not even a review because I haven't really worn the fragrance yet, but it is new. Um, it is the newest release to this line and it was released in just the past couple of months. Um, I think it came out in March of 2019. So if you are interested in purchasing this, but you can only get it online through Sephora or Nordstrom's or um, any fragrance retailer that sells Aramis fragrances, um, it's going to be more helpful to have somebody actually telling you about the fragrance than just trying to figure out on your own, right? So the purchase price of the one ounce, again, it will vary depending on where you decide to purchase from, um, but this is about like the manufacturer retail price, uh, $70 for the 30 mil. It is $100 for the 50 mil and 139 US dollars for the 100 mil size. It does come in three sizes. So Sephora has the information listed as floral fragrance family, a powdery floral. The keynotes are florals, white musks, and woods. The fragrance description is Un Chardon sur la Lagoon, a dream garden, soothing and vibrant, a floral and woody eau de toilette. I dreamed of this garden. I created a perfume woven from its memories, the cycle of trees and flowers, nature still enduring within it. Christine Nagel, Hermes perfumer. I a door half open, a dream escapes. Un jardin sur la lagoon is a secret garden where nature comes into its own again. Woody scents blended with floral notes and the wind carries afar salty notes. Wow, fancy. Um, to be fair, <laughs> that doesn't really help at all. <laughs> um, Fragrantica lists. Oh, they have some interesting information about the packaging. Hmm. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. Mm. The fragrance is conceived as vibrant, caressing, distinctive, and a bit nostalgic, leading us to Venice and revealing the magic of a hidden place behind a stone wall. Uh, floral notes of magnolia and Madonna lily, along with sea and wood nuances, to conjure up a secret garden on the water. The story is about a mysterious garden that an English lord builds on the water inside a lagoon in Venice. Notes are magnolia, pit pitosperum, Madonna lily, sea breeze, samphire, and wood notes. Um, I'm really, honestly, I don't know what some of those things are. I mean, I'm just being real with you. <laughs> I can't, I can't tell you what some of these things are, but there are like that, those aqua cords. There's that sea salt accord. Okay. I didn't want to do that. Now I have mentioned 
that I have tried the um, Solanil, I think it's called, and Un Mediterrane, I think it's called. I have them <laughs> back there somewhere. Um, if you saw, if you have seen my uh, fragrance collections, you know what I mean by back, back there somewhere. Um, ahem. my phone is refusing to be useful. Instead, it is only giving me ads, sweet adverts. Okay, let's see what we've got. So of the two, the two scents that I have, uh, Mediterranean and Sir Lanil. I prefer Lanil. Um, Mediterranean has a very, very um, green scent. It's a really nice fig scent, but to me, it's a little bit too green. Um, it's similar to the green note in um, Womanity by Mugler, but um, Hermes does it well, whereas Womanity does it overboard. It's very green, though. Lanil um, is a little bit more floral, a little bit lighter. Um, and then I've also tried, but I don't own Monsieur Lee, which is not one I care for. It's a little bit too much of a white floral. Um, but so... With that being said, if you're familiar with the fragrance line, um, that may help you when I say that for my personal preference of what I like in fragrance, um, La Lagoon is the best that they've released, in my opinion. In my preference, in my opinion. Um, I have not smelled um, Sur la Toit or Après la Maison. But honestly, I don't know that I need to. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're released yearly. It's every few years. Anyway. But just to give you an idea that um, my favorite up to this point was Sur le Nil, which composed in 2015. 2005, this is the second destination in this impressionistic travel journal. A stroll in the garden of the islands of the Nile at Osan is the starting point for this new olfactory voyage. Green mango, lotus, incense, clamus, and sycamore wood are at the heart of this refreshing ode. The nose behind this fragrance is Jean-Claude Elena. A, 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 N, I don't, you know, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But musk patchouli, but it's not done heavily because these are all eau de toilettes. It's very reminiscent to me of, I'm not sure. I can't think of something. Honestly, it's very unique. Um, but I feel like La Lagoon is better. For what it is, La Lagoon is better than Sur La Nil. Um, why? Why do I think that? Because it, it has that nice sea salt accord. It has that really fresh ocean accord, um, but it doesn't lose out on anything with the florals. And so it truly captures this destination idea of a garden by the sea. Um, whereas some of the others, I feel like kind of have, like they lose that. Um, but yeah, Un Jardin sur la Lagoon very good. I really like this. Uh, apparently this box is done by a famous artist. I don't know. I don't know about art very well. Not modern art at least. Um, but yeah, excellent. This was my purchase when I returned um, uh, YSL Paris, no, YSL Parisien and Versace Bright, Versace Bright Crystals, so I don't have those anymore to do a review about, but I will say that if you like the fragrances that I feature on this channel, that I talk about liking, that I talk about enjoying, you'll like this fragrance. Um, if you like, See if I can pull up like the list of what people like on Fragrantica because it's so handy to have. 
I really like this scent. I'm so excited to use it and it's not too heavy for summer. It's perfect. I love that. I love a good fresh summer fragrance. I love a seawater accord. If you've seen my fragrance reviews um, or my favorite fragrances for spring and summer, you have seen that Balenciaga, Balenciaga Paris La Mer is in there. This is probably the closest um, saltwater accord to that fragrance uh, that I have found. That's much more fresh. This is much more um, floral and woody, but they both have that really, really good saltwater accord, and I love that. So probably I will be purchasing a larger size of this, but um, this neither here nor there. Let's get back to this page. And Mediterranean is beautiful, but I just can't with the, it's too green. I'm sorry. And Lee is too floral. I have to have a nice balance. And this is lovely. It's really well balanced. It really is. It's appropriate for daytime wear. Um, it's appropriate year round, really. It's not going to smell too summery. It doesn't have like too much of that summery scent. Um, it's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Let's see. Other people like this also like Tom Ford Noir. If you like that, Guerlain Mon Guerlain. I like that. Angel Muse. That's on. That's a really good comparable fragrance to this. That's really nice. Coco Mademoiselle. Yes, very good. Um, Gucci Bloom. A little bit floraler than this scent, I think, but also in the same kind of fragrance family. Um, yeah, so Coco Mademoiselle, Angel Muse, um, Tom Ford Black Velvet, Black Orchid. I don't know. I don't, I don't have that scent because I don't like it. I like purple velvet orchid. I don't know. Um, yeah, and then... Um, Gucci Bloom. Yeah. I think that if you, especially if you like Angel Muse or um, Mon Guerlain by Guerlain or Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Those are good. That's good. This is very similar to that kind of fragrance family. So there you go. That's the review for Hermes Un Jardin Sur La Lagune. <laughs> <laughs> Un jardin sur la lagune. Um, yeah, looks like that. And then it's a really lovely gradient orange bottle. So keep that in mind. Orange bottle. If you're not sure the name, orange bottle. That's how I shop anyway. Thanks for coming on and thanks for checking out this video. I do have more fragrance content coming. I know it's crazy. I have a sample set review. I have by Rado review coming up. So please keep an eye out for those. And until I talk to you again, 